Hello there, YouTube. This is Ekdog here with Ekdog's Corner, where we go over all things gaming. Today we're going to be playing some Forza Horizon 2. So I hope you enjoy it. I've been playing it the last couple days, and it is a phenomenal racing game. Probably the best on Earth right now. At least for a social... <coughs> I mean, it can be very competitive. I, I like how... Oh, we'll let you watch this video. Pretty cool. Surprisingly enough, these are in-game graphics. I know that's hard to believe. Let's get started. <coughs> Yeah, this is a very stellar, stellar game. We'll start with a bit of offline play, just show you some of the world. It's really cool. We'll just do a few of the random. Probably take you through one championship. Welcome to the Castelletto Car Meet. The showdown routes around here take in some of the beautiful coastal roads. People come from all over the world to drive these roads. We're going to leave the Car Meet. They're cool. It's just a way for you to... It kind of is just a way to quick join lobbies for other players, free roams and matches, and it's pretty cool. This game's very social in nature. All right, here we are, my my good old Lamborghini. Look at those graphics, though. Isn't that just amazing? So first thing we'll do, this is your map, you know, very simple. We're going to do a road trip here, so i got to get there. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. Oh yes, I'm drifting. In 200 yards, keep right. A lot of different keep view right. modes, you see, you can look over the hood. Two over the car views, like third person, first person, hood, and then in front of the hood. It's pretty cool. Good Lamborghini Aventador. Very epic car. All right, are we all ready for this road trip? Destination one is Castelletta, down on the coast. This route has some of the best driving roads in the world. Make the most of them. I'm gonna get to third person mode just so you can see the world. Turn 
It's gorgeous. You know it's a good game when you can just drive around and look at the scenery. Especially for a racing game. This isn't really a race. If they call it a road trip, you're just going from destination to destination. And you can go that or however you want. Ah, oh, that's poopy to say the least. Crashed my $300,000 car. I don't know why I'm in such a hurry, but... <laughs> There's a lot of really cool features to this game. Oh, we're gonna hit a wall. <laughs> ah, I gotta be more careful with my fancy car. Though it doesn't cost me any real world money. Whew. Ah, this is rough looking. You can tell I'm no racing car game expert. How driving Grand Theft Auto. A little reckless. Dangerous. Some cheesy, some cheesy broccoli and potato soup. Epic. All right, the biggie. This is the Hypercar Championship. This one is a dream for a piston head like me. Just walking around the grid gives me tingles. All right, mate, pick a race and we'll get started. Nothing like hitting a wall. Keep left. In 100 yards, keep left. All right, let's start race number one of the Hypercar Championship.
now you can see just how badly I am at racing games. <laughs> well, I'm not the worst driver ever, but... Now for those of you not familiar with Forza, these are not players, even though they're people off my friends list. These are what are called Drivatars. As you play Forza, it's like an AI representation of yourself. So the game learns the way you drive, and then your Drivatar drives roughly like you do. It's pretty accurate and it's pretty cool. That way when you're offline, your Drivatar is still driving for you, earning you points, money, level ups. It's pretty cool, like it really is. Plus it makes you feel like you're racing somebody instead of just random AI. I mean, at the end of the day, it is AI. It's very intelligent, driver, dri like player-driven AI. Man, I'm crashing a lot. I'm a wall bouncer, apparently. I'm gonna have to work hard to take that first position. Oh, man. In real life, I'd be dead by now. Man, I'm just never... I'm kind of slowly gaining on him. Oh, there we go. I'm about to overtake him. This game has a feature called Rewind. I only try to use it when it's absolutely necessary. I'll show you it really quick just so you can see what I mean. You hit Y, and it rewinds so many seconds worth of time. It's really cool. You can only do that in single player though. You cannot do that in multiplayer for obvious for obvious reasons. You just hit that. Everyone would troll with it. You hit it and everyone screen rewinds. Ah, I got a in my race with bouncing off walls. Whoa, that was intense. Well done. All right. My car's all, look at how pretty it is. There's like $100,000 worth of repairs, if not more. Now normally I could face a rival like one of the drive guitars of someone who's at my skill level and it would allow me to do up. that when you level up here in this game you get to spin for a prize sometimes a car sometimes any amount of credits uh, nah it's 19,000 credits I didn't have a minute ago so it's not too bad I guess whoa <laughs> Look at my car magically fixed. Who did that? But it's a social racing game more focused on driving than car repair. It's 
So in this game, damage is purely aesthetic. gonna do something you should never do in a Lamborghini. Take it off road? Oh, we're guardrail. If that isn't terrible. That's one of the coolest parts about this game though. The expand some people have said there's way too many trees. I think it's cool. My shortcut was not a shortcut. Oh, well, there's so much for that. If you really own a Lamborghini, uh, don't. I <laughs> you would obviously never do what I just did. I don't know, maybe you would. I'm not presuming to know what you do, I guess. You have arrived at your destination. 